Is the city of Richmond spending too much to build new schools? After a recent CBS 6 report on an audit two years ago, one of City Hall's top officials reached out to the auditor by text and by email. And we have now obtained those messages. Tonight, a problem solver's investigation. Our Tyler Lane shows us how the mayor's office tried to get Richmond's financial watchdog to change the findings of a critical report and why the auditor refused. Tyler? Well, Bill, a text message and an email sent from a Richmond official revealed that the city has attempted to get the city's independent auditor to update his findings on school construction costs from more than a year ago. Now, that audit has been brought into the middle of a conflict between the school board and the city over how to move forward with construction of a new George with High. So I want you to take a look at the message for yourself. Right now, you're looking at a text message sent from Richmond's chief administrative officer, Lincoln Saunders, to the city's auditor, Lou Lassiter. It says your audit on school construction is being used to beat us over the head on false premises. It seems more than appropriate to update it with additional info. The text obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request and first reported by Virginia Public Media was sent March 21st. That's just one day after a CBS 6 Problem Solvers report detailing the findings of Lassiter's 2020 audit. It shows the city needs improvement on middle and elementary school construction costs and spent more taxpayer dollars than the statewide average in 2018 and 2019, building Cardinal Elementary, Henry Marsh Elementary, and River City middle. The statewide average is listed as $283 per square foot. The city spent $324 per square foot. I asked, what did you mean by the audit is being used to beat the city over the head? Well, I think that there's been a lot of misrepresentation, particularly by a couple of school board members as regards to, you know, continuing to say that um, uh, school costs were out of line with, with statewide averages. Saunders claims that some school board members are, quote, manipulating the data as justification for the board taking control of school construction and not wanting to collaborate with the city on future projects. But board member Jonathan Young says the numbers speak for themselves. And the reality is that we spent more money than was requisite on the last round of schools. And there's just no way around that. I'm sorry if it's an inconvenient truth. And that text is not the only time Saunders messaged Lassiter about his report. In January, he emailed the auditor asking him to update findings to factor in new data from 2020 and 2021 after the audit was completed. Saunders claims that data shows a more fair comparison in construction costs across the state. In fact, Saunders showed me the same data in March in an effort to dispute the findings days after we first reported on the audit. It's certainly the only time I've asked him to go back and look at a prior published audit. Um, but again, just given the importance of the conversation, um, simply asking for it to be updated with additional info um, that's relevant to the current conversation we're having as a city today uh, was the goal. However, Lassiter says his audit only focused on elementary and middle schools with contracts awarded in 2018 and 2019, so the data Saunders provided is not comparable. In an email to CBS 6, Lassiter says it is not common to be asked to change an audit and he would only ever update his findings if something was factually incorrect. He also points out that between 2019 and 2021, he conducted 35 audits and the city agreed with 97 percent of recommendations. Young calls Saunders' request to change the audit highly unorthodox. I'd trust an auditor over a politician every day of the week and twice on Saturday. While the city maintains it disagrees with the audit, I asked Saunders if the city found at least some room for improvement based off the report. Yes, we continue to learn. And Saunders also addressed some factors that could have played a role in higher construction costs in the city, such as land constraints, building in a historic neighborhood, and moving with urgency. After all this, he still invites the school board to collaborate with the city on future projects.